Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you, says the Lord. Are you willing to be set apart? Let's talk about it. It's a brand new day of new beginnings. Let's celebrate, celebrate with me. G here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and blessed week thus far. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about being willing to be set apart. Some of us are wondering why we have not excelled in life and why we're still stuck in the place that we are in. And it's because we're trying to drag along a lifestyle and we're trying to drag along people who are not destined for our future with us. God wants us to be set apart. God doesn't want us to follow the crowd and God doesn't want us to be connected to people people who are not conducive to our growth and our progression. And so sometimes we have to be set apart. Sometimes we have to disconnect from the people in our lives that have been holding us back because we never know how far we can go unless we cut the tethers of those who have been holding us steady, right? And so I want to encourage someone today who may be wondering why they aren't progressing. I want you to take a hard look at your circle. Look at the people around you. Look at the people you're connected to. And if you guys aren't on the same page, if you guys don't have the same belief system, if you guys don't have the same motivation, the same discipline, and the same go get it attitude, then you know why you haven't succeeded. It's because you are connected with people who do not have the vision that God has given you. And when God has given you a vision and other people don't understand it, it's because it's not for them. And so you have to be willing to let people go if you're going to excel in this new season. You have to be willing to be set apart. And so I'm reminded about Abraham in the book of Genesis when God told him that he must be separate, right? To separate from his people and go to a place that he will show him. And so Abraham obeyed God, right? And followed God's instruction and went out from his people and from his family. But Lot followed him. And so Lot attached himself to Abraham's destiny. And so there became a point where God led Abraham to be separate even from Lot. And so after Abraham had separated from Lot, it was then that God revealed his master plan to Abraham. It was then that God gave Abraham the promise of a future from for generations and generations to come, right? And so it took for Abraham to separate from Lot to be able to see the vision that God had for him. It's going to take for you to separate from the people that you are currently connected to to be able to see the vision that God has for you. I hope that somebody is hearing me today because you are waiting right in this current position and someone is latched onto you, is holding on to your destiny, is holding on to your tailcoats and is hoping to ride your blessed wave into the sunset. But let me tell you, sometimes you have to cut it off. Sometimes you can't stay connected to the people of your past because what God has for you is far greater than what they can handle, right? And that doesn't mean that they're no longer family. No, because we see that Abraham still came to Lot's assistance when he came, when he fell into some trouble and when he came into, onto some hard times. And so we're not saying that God is saying that you completely cut yourself off, but we're saying that God is saying that you have to have the mentality to be able to separate yourself from them, to not be conformed to them, to not do what they are doing, but to be a true leader in every respect of the word and to be able to walk in the vision that God has set for you. And so I want you to be like Abraham. I want you to trust God so much that you are willing to step out of your comfort zone, that you are willing to let go of the people you are so comfortable with being around so that you can grow, so that you can increase in your vision, increase in your possibilities, increase in your progress. God does not want you to be stagnant. God does not want you to be frustrated in this season. God wants to see you experience and accomplish many things. God wants you to dream dreams. God wants to blow your mind, but you have to be willing to become separate. 
And so I hope this message is resonating with you. I hope that you take the time to evaluate the people that you are connected to. If you find yourself hiding your vision, if you find yourself keeping your plans and your thoughts and your prayers to yourself because you're afraid of what they may think, you may, you may be afraid of how they may think negatively towards your vision and your plans. And so if that is the case, then you are in the wrong crowd. If you find yourself in situations where you are dimming your light, right? And you are hiding your blessings and making them seem insignificant because you don't want to make someone else feel insecure about where they are in life, then you may have to rethink the crowd that you are in. I want you to seriously think about those connections. I want you to seriously evaluate the people you're connected to, not because they're bad people, but because the vision that God has for you is too important to allow someone else to deter you and to allow someone else to keep you from moving forward. You have to be willing to be set apart. And so I pray that this message encouraged you and I pray that it blesses you and I pray that you say yes to God today. Let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the person watching this video today. I pray, O oh Heavenly Father, that we be willing to be set apart, that we be willing to separate from our comfort zone. We be willing to separate from what we have known for years, friendships that we've had for years, family members that we cling to that may not necessarily have the vision and the drive and the determination that we do, O oh God. I pray, O oh Lord, that we have the courage to be able to call ourselves separate from them so that we can be connected with you, so that we can follow you and your ultimate plan for our lives, O oh God. Heavenly Father, I trust your vision. I trust your plan for my life, O oh God. And I will blindly follow you wherever you lead me, O oh Heavenly Father. And if I have to let go of some people, O oh Heavenly Father, then thy will be done. Because what you have for me, O oh God, my purpose in this world, O oh God, is more important than my connection to anyone else, O oh God. Not to be rude, O oh Lord. Not to be having ill will against anyone else, oh God, oh Lord. But Heavenly Father, my heart and my passion is for you, oh God. And it's so much for you, oh God, that I'm willing, oh God, to sacrifice everything else that is important to me. And so Heavenly Father, I pray that you, oh Lord, will connect me with those who are going to help me along my journey to grow, to become better, oh Lord, and to experience you in a mighty and greater way, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the vision. We thank you for the journey, oh God, and we thank you, oh Lord, that we have been called to be set apart. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I pray that you're ready and that you're willing to be set apart. Bye.